Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. Today we're talking about your pictures and I'm excited. Last week we had some fantastic photos. We do this uh, every week, every Sunday typically. You submit your photos, we critique them. I don't know yet if I'm gonna, how, how I'm going to be. I think last week I was a little too easy, wasn't I? I don't know, man. People want to see the high scores and I got a funny one today where somebody even gave you the score they want. Oh. That is so funny. If you want to be on the show and you want us to see your stuff, got to email the best pictures that you can to pics at greengridiron.com. Here's the address. Keep them coming. You can send more than one photo. We encourage that. And you can write a little story. There are some interesting, unique, and super weird things in this one. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So Steve's the photographer. He talks about the pictures and how you can light it better and frame it better and all that crap. And I <laughs> tell you what I think of your helmet. Pretty much. Yeah. Let's go. So first up is Len. All right, Len. And he says, it attaches my wife's helmet. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. His okay. wife, Mary Lee, number 51, is a starting right offensive tackle for the Florida Sweet. Avengers. Sweet. I love this. Yes, sir. There are a lot more women playing football out there than you would think. Right out of the gate, I love the decal and the way that it's been positioned, it's almost like the decal was made for this helmet. This is obviously a Speedflex helmet with the SF2BDC TX face mask. We've got what looks like a Sports Star chin strap with a custom... Um, Red in there. Yeah, which I don't think they offer anymore. I'd have to double check. we got chrome decals all around. Uh, it all looks great. It is so good, and I love the fact that this league knows what they're doing like they took the warning label off and put a red one on they got the american flag in the right spot the number decals like you can tell this is a put together division mm -hmm. and i love seeing that super professional and hey man the photos on the money took it outside you can see that chrome you can see how bright white that is we yeah. just got to get her to get in there with, now with, and... with with chrome decals it's uh it's always better under the sun overall steve yeah uh, I'm going to give this one a score for what it is, which is a helmet that wants to be played in very badly. I'm not sure if they're playing right now or, no. or when the season is. Steve, I'm going to go with a 8.7. You said it so quiet because you yeah. can tell you had a hard time on that oh, one. No? Yeah. Yeah. 8 uh, great job with the pictures. And yes. Thanks so much for sending that in. Play safe. Next up is Kevin. And it says, hey, I love your Instagram and YouTube. I bought a helmet from your website and built it, and I would love if you posted it. Um, oh, and he made it on the story of the day, so that's cool. February 13th he made it. Yeah, because we'll actually um, highlight your guys' photos on Instagram as well. So you got a few reasons to send them in. Oh, I almost feel bad for the helmet. It's, it's got like <laughs> snow in there. He jammed snow in that thing like a Took scoop. It and just shoved it right <laughs> up there, right? Yeah, man. Well, listen. It's so got to get clean somehow. Yeah, and this looks like a custom face mask. If I had to say what style code this is, I'm almost positive this is a custom because this would be a CF, gosh, thinking of, it would have to be a CU-CF2EGSW. Looks like uh, a Seattle blue uh, helmet, or it's actually, Riddell calls this color royal blue. And what look, it looks like he has a royal blue helmet with a royal blue face mask, um, which a Seattle blue, the color that we sell as Seattle blue, would, would, would match a little bit better. But overall, this thing looks great. What, what is the decal on, the, on it, the front there? I can't tell. It almost looks like the opening of a shark mouth. Those are teeth, maybe? Uh, maybe. I don't I, know. I was thinking something like Aztecian. That's a thing. No, I mean, yeah, it does look like teeth. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Let us know. Yeah. And then we got what looks like, is that a zero G visor in there? Yeah. Yeah, we got a zero G visor and we got some Under Armour clips. Uh, looks like a Riddell. Is that, yeah, that's a Riddell. Yep. Hard cup chin. Hard to tell what some of these components it's are. It's navy blue, Because right? you got the, got the snow on there. <laughs> this uh, thing is frosty. Yeah. So, Steve, how, what's your thoughts on the background and the, the framing and all that stuff? I mean, it's snowy right now everywhere. So, we're, I feel like... Maybe we're forcing people to get outside more than they ever would. I'm not sure. And maybe we can take credit for that. Maybe not. I, well, if that's the case, Steve, you know one thing we haven't seen yet. We haven't, we don't have it. Snowman. Had, we haven't had anybody submit us a helmet underwater. Oh, I can't believe we haven't had a snowman with a helmet put on the thing yet. 
come on, people. It's snowing out there. Let's get some stuff. I don't know. I like it. It looks wintry. It looks cold. And that blue is like um, the opposite of all that. Looks cool. This one under the gazebo reminds me of a spot in Tom's River, New Jersey. My God, it looks exactly. Where are you from, Kevin? Anyway, okay. that's it. That's all I got. I'm going to give this. I'm just. This is this is a score just on this helmet. I'm going to go with a 7.9. All right, all right. Yeah, I, feel I, like, I, I feel like I feel like I'm I'm a little high today. No, no, no. I think you're all right. I like that blue a lot. Maybe I'll bring it in. Next up is crispy. This way do you see this is trippy, man. So here's a 3D printed and hand painted helmet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I made my first one for the buffs. My friend printed it. And I painted it. Uh, so let's see. He put a Coca Cola can there for a reference for size. That, this is really nice. It is. It you tripped know, me out I, a little bit. I'm a big believer in 3D printers, the technology, where it's going, all of that stuff. We got to get ourselves a 3D printer. Yeah, I agree. This looks beautiful. This looks, um, <laughs> you know, there are some things on here that sure. it's obvious that it's not a full-size helmet. And when you look, when you zoom in, Stephen, you look super close, you can kind of see some rough edges here and there which we would call but, like an orange peel almost uh, yeah i wonder if there's a, a word for that in the 3d printing community probably yeah uh but i, I love it see i'm going to give this guy a 9.8 because i'm scoring this for what it is and it's super unique because this is a speed flex mini helmet which doesn't even exist except for <laughs> right here cool color the interesting that you chose pink um, to roll out the very first one you've done, or maybe you've done others. Did he say this? He's done nope. Others, this is the first one. This is the first one. Yeah. Wow. I was blown away when I saw that. All yeah, right. Nice job. Next up is Ethan, and he says, Jay, Steve, I hope you guys enjoy these pictures. These are my helmet options for the University of North Alabama, where, oh. he, where an FCS program located in Florence, Alabama. We just received an unprecedented amount of winter snow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I get it. Oof. That. Love the visor. Yes, beautiful. Uh, looks fantastic. Actually, all three of these helmets, here's what I would recommend. So if these are kind of the helmets that you're putting out there to vote on which one to wear during the season, to me it's easy. Oh, yeah? Wear all three. Uh, right, go back and forth. I Seriously, think. like these look great. And here's, here's a kind of, you got three different helmets. It looks like you're using the exact same, are these the same decals in each one? The it's, side decals are three um, completely different looks that are all cohesive together. And these are done in a way, like this guy knows what he's doing. Like, who, who am I kidding? He doesn't need my me telling him anything. Um, but it's been done in a way that it's obvious. This works together as a collection. Yeah, I looked at these pictures, I looked at these helmets long and hard, and there's nothing that I would change as far as the design. I have a, one piece of advice for you though. With the visor, it's definitely sitting a little low. So if you flip those clips upside down, it's not really, it well, would then raise it up and that, I think that yeah. would look better. And as a, as a presentation to the coaching staff and the AD and maybe the president of the universe, whoever's voting on what to do here, these are fantastic. I'm gonna go with a 9.1. Mm -hmm. on these mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, I agree. Good stuff. All right, next up is Noah. This one's an interesting one too. So, hey guys, long time viewer, first time helmet sender. <laughs> My entry comes to you from the University of Wisconsin, Eau Claire. Okay, yep. Um, where the air temperature was negative 24 this morning. No thanks. Better you than us, man. Yep. Um, he has a Thurman Thomas uh, Bill's helmet and a uh, Revo Packers helmet. He said um, he wants to put the helmet hangers that we make, but he can't put holes in the wall where he is. Mm. So yeah, he's like, maybe, yeah. 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 Cinder block. yeah. I mean, you could. No, I, he's saying like he's not allowed to put That's holes. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah. Like, you, you could. Right. <laughs> nice stuff, though. Yeah, these are cool, and they look... I like how the, the Bills one has the chin strap just hanging down. Yeah, yeah. They That's both cool. kind of... Yeah, he yeah, left yeah, the one yeah. snap That's off. Cool. They don't both do. Yeah, the, the, yeah, these are nice. And these are... These are... The, to me, they don't appear to be the types of helmets that you purchase as collectibles that you actually went out there and had these made. Um, let me take a look at that Bills one here. I'm wondering, I mean, it's... It, it might be a collectible, authentic. The, that's the warning label yeah. that comes with it, so it's very possible. 
either way, I think they're 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 cool. They're kind of you know they're throwbacks. Oh yeah, for I sure. Mean, legit throwbacks too. And I'm wondering how oh. much. He, he wrote in there that he knows that you're not really, you know, favorable to those, but he said, you know what? He thinks these are the coolest. Oh, okay. So I, I that's right. That's yeah, all that yeah. matters. But I like the Bill's red helmets. I want them to bring those back. See, I'm going to go with uh, a 7.6. All right. I mean, that's on cool. These guys. That's cool. All right. Yeah. Why not? That's a good score. Don't, yeah. don't look yeah. back. And that's from a Lions fan. <laughs> oh, man. So might... he means it. Yeah. Next up is Sean. He says, hey, guys, um, I'm a big fan of the show. Been watching for over a year, and he doesn't regret it one bit. Okay. That's so, good. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, there's not much wear and tear since our season got canceled after one game. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, but I'm hoping to add more to it if we don't get canceled again. So, so hopefully you're back out there. So this is the shot F7. What, what kind, let me see a side. Do we have a shot, side shot? Oh, it's like an antler. So oh, it is an antler. That's cool. That's unique. Yeah, I like the the bucks on the back. And Look how it just fits there. Yeah, it it's interesting because it looks like the decal is kind of wrapped around, which it almost doesn't look like a decal. I I, I really like the antlers. That's a cool cool idea. It really right? is. The bucks. It's great. And is this? Did he say he's in New Mexico? He, I don't think he said. Because that know. um that that flag decal. Is New Mexico? No, he didn't say. Huh. He went out there, he jammed that thing filled with snow. Yeah. So hey, nice. We appreciate it. But Absolutely. Go get I almost, I'm starting to feel bad because all the <laughs> cleanup that has to go into this guy, right? Hey, uh, man, they uh, want to be on the show. Yep. Yeah, uh, Steve, I'm gonna with this guy here. Um, I love the antlers, the way that they look. I love the bucks in the back. I love doing seeing stuff like that. I'm gonna go with a uh, 7.9. Nice. I like it. All Thanks, right, Sean. Next up is Kirby. Kirby's so confident, he only sent him one photo. Oh. Yeah, that's, well, that's rare. <laughs> uh, my name is Kirby. I'm 15. I'm from Florida. And my helmet is a Shut Vengeance A11 with a 20% smoke visor and a game day chin strap. Here we go. Excellent photo. What are you going to say, Steve? It's almost like... Spot on. He's nailing it, so why not go with your best, best yep. shot, right? And it's rare to get on the show with just one photo of a helmet on the field, but I was just compelled to put this on there. He knew how to take it. He got down nice and low with it. It's great. The black helmet with black clips. The clips look. The most. The clips almost look like they're on backwards. I don't know they, if they are on, are on backward. Um, yes, they are. The face mask hardware is. You're right. The face mask hardware. Well, then we've got the Oakley uh, visor with Oakley visor clips. Uh, everything's blacked out on this guy, right? Yep. It's all. We're all all black all the time here, except for the white in the O's and like the. Kind of, kind of like a Joker smile almost. Kind of on the chin cup sock. It reminds me of like a old creepy, um, like a um, Harlequin or a creepy clown. You know? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Uh, Steve, I, I, I like you know, you know me. I love blackouts. I love blackouts on blackouts. It's pretty basic. There's no no decals or anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with a seven point six. Okay. That's not too bad. Yeah. All right. Next up is Gavin. And he says, hey, I'm 12, and I just got this chin strap from you guys. Uh, and th some thumb screws. Um, he wore this visor in all three years of his football season. Okay. That's that's impressive. Plus, I'd like at least a 5.5. 5. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, all right, let's, and, see, let's see what you got here. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. That's funny, because why not ask? Sure. You know? Now everybody's going to ask. Yeah. Someone's going to say, I want at least a 9.8. <laughs> All right, Gavin. So first off, thank you so much for supporting uh, not only the show but also our business. Um, little th little purchases like that, help, you know, they all add up and go a long way to helping us be able to do this kind of stuff. It I does, but, but but I'm well, gonna just stop you right out of the gate. Do you do you see the chin strap and the helmet combo? Oh uh, yeah, we got a speed helmet with a speed flex cam lock chin strap. So what he has done here is he said the hell with your rules, all of it, your your stupid little rules, and we're going to go ahead and put our uh, cam lock chin strap on my Riddell Speed helmet, and we're just going to make it work. So this is the first time I've seen this, and I'm curious 
be like super careful. Don't go cutting big square holes in your helmet to make this mm -hmm. thing fit. I'm just going to say that. But I can't tell. I mean, it's, it's black on black. It's in the shadow. I can't tell if they're. He might have just drilled a thumb hole for the thumb yeah, screw. I mean, like, technically, I don't you know. could put it. You could put it just through a little bit of a hole, but it'll kind of stick it, out a little bit. So yeah. really, the question is, and we have for you or anybody who has done this, how does it work? How do you like it? Do you sense that there's any problems with that? It's not something that Riddell. Uh, vouches for or recommends or any right. of that. It's not something that we vouch for, recommend, or any of that. But at the same time, you're the ones using it. And and, and I'm really, re seriously, would love to get some comments below. I know there's other people out there who have you know, bolted these things on. This has got to be a 5.4. <laughs> oh, no, no. I just, Wait a second. Just, yeah. Let's go, let's go with this guy, because uh, we do have some interesting pieces on here. So mm -hmm. it's kind of unique. I'm going to go with a 7.1. Yeah, got to. Good I feel about that, Gavin. Good job, young man. All right, next up is Carson. Really solid, awesome pictures. That table, I believe, is covered in ice from the back. That is so cool how he was able to get that. It looks so dramatic, like heavenly. Well, Steve, is there a trick to that kind of a shot? But no, you just got to make sure it's light. I mean, he put a cool filter on this, a blueing, you know, a filter on it. But that's that's just a little thing and done on the phone. I think this is great. He's basically taken what appears to me to be a Texas A and M uh, Riddell Speed Flex authentic collectible helmet, and he's upgraded the face mask. He's put in a visor. He's got uh, the chin strap because this would normally come with a white soft cup chin strap, and he's got a matching hard cup chin strap on there. Uh, added the flag on the back because that's not where typically the flag is going to go. He either did all of that or he went and he got this helmet and put his own decals on. That's possible too. I I can't tell. I it's, can't tell the difference. It's which, that which, good. Which, which goes to, sh to show you um, how good it you know how nice a job he did putting this thing together. So this looks really good. I love 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 these pictures. Yeah, and I'm not really even paying attention any to the the, 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 the photos or the basketball go on the background. The one with, on this, what looks like snow, I guess. Yeah. Could be a salt flat for all I know. Um, <laughs> Dramatic. I'm going to go with uh, 8.3. All right. Yeah, that makes sense for that. I'm going to assume that he's he got this as a collectible. He bolted these things on there mm -hmm. to take it to another level. Love, love that I picture. Love it. It'll be on the thumbnail. Don't you worry about that. And next up, and already last of the day, is Arthur he says, hello, guys. I'm from Brazil, and these helmets are what I used to play with. My team, how do you say that? Guarani? Guarani Indians? Sure, the Guarani Indians. Yeah. You know, football is being played all over the place, and they make do in other countries. they got to make do with what they got. Yeah. Here's two examples. We've got a Shut Vengeance, and we've got a Riddell Speed helmet. And I think that the Indian headdresses on them are Super cool. I mean, there's a lot going on. Because those have these. to be painted on. Yeah. Have to be. My goodness. Uh, so a lot went into that, uh, and you don't see that type of detail and a attention to detail coming from other countries. Usually you see what's, what looks far more like a can of spray paint. So kudos to those paint job, um, at least from what we can see in the pictures. Yeah, but you're right. This is a very put-together look for an American football team way outside of the USA. Um, the one with the two of them on the grass, it's freakish how much it looks like the grass and the dirt combo. Look at that. Oh, like, yeah. It's, oh, the, yeah. It's the same color scheme. It's like super camo. Yeah. If it wasn't for the white, you'd be like, I hope that's not the football field. Um betting it's the football field. It probably is a football field. I mean, field. you know, they'll get turf one and easier. So. Yeah, I guess, you, you know. You got what you got. For all you players out there in the U.S., this is, I mean, you're spoiled. Oh, for, for sure. so much I mean, so. It's, it's, it's almost like, you know, manicured like a high-end golf course in these fields. It's true. And that's a, if you're, uh, you know, slumming it enough to not have the, the fake stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, we didn't know. I, I'm going to give, I mean, I think these are great paint jobs, and it's awesome that, you know, Thank you so much for sending them in from all the way down in Brazil. Uh, Steve, I'm going to go with 8.8 uh, .8 for those guys. Yeah, I like that. We had some good scores today. We saw some really unique stuff, but we want to see more. So keep the pictures coming. Really try the best that you can to get creative. Email them to pics at greengridiron.com. And if they are good enough, you might just make it on the show. Yes, P-I-C-S 
uh, at GreenGridiron.com mm -hmm. and leave your comments below. Let me know. Am I being too hard, too soft this week? Try to find that zone. I feel like I'm out of a rhythm here. I feel like you were all right. I think people got spoiled with the 9.9s and the 10s, and we just, yeah. we just, you know, yeah. wow us. Maybe it's time to drop the hammer. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that underwater shot. You know? Okay, listen. Thank you so much again. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.